Jesus the Christ, Yeshua, is the gateway to life. No one enters into life except through Jesus the Christ, Yeshua. What is hell? First of all, I have to uh, say that um, whatever the Bible says, uh, well, that's what has to go. Whatever the King James Version of the Holy Bible says. And that has been revealed to me in the Spirit that the King James Version of the Holy Bible, even though it has some man-made mistakes and could use a better name, is the true word of uh, Yahweh God. So, whatever it says. But I do think that hell, I think it's a condition. It is like a place, but it is. But as far as the way of describing hell is a metaphor. Um, it, uh, to me, it doesn't make no sense that, uh, that God would send people to a place where they are burned by fire. I mean, that, that doesn't even make any sense that God would even do that. What Jesus said, He came to deliver us from our sins. Sin is anything that is not perfect. Sin is imperfection. Christ came to make us perf perfect, is to make us fully, wholly righteous. It doesn't necessarily mean we become righteous on this earth. In fact, uh, it actually serves a purpose that sin dwells in us because it it makes that which is evil, which would be Satan and all of his creation, more guilty for not believing the truth if, a, if something else is evil, testifies of the righteousness of the Christ. So that even makes Satan even more guilty for not testifying that Christ is righteous. But I don't believe that uh, hell is... Now, now, I'm just saying this. I, I can't, unless the King James Version, the Bible does not... I can just say that, but not proof. I'm still waiting for confirmation from a true apostle, prophet, or God to confirm this. But, yeah, myself, I do not believe that um, hell lasts forever. What happens is after all the children of uh, Yahweh God is born into this world and has suffered from the uh, from Satan, experienced the pain that Satan causes in this world, then Satan uh, can be fully judged, and then he's put under total submission, and then. Uh, they can be redeemed because they lose the right. Once so many of God's children are born into this world and testify the righteousness of Christ, then they lose the right to reject righteousness. And then God can transform as one man once said to me, why would God make, you know, that we was back in, days of Calvinist and pre, uh, predestination he had this belief that God saves some but not others but but the question was asked why would God s save some and then uh, throw the others away why would God cast anything away well I'm not sure that God does he'll redeem all but but there's going to be, but I can only say that uh, there would be some kind of loss for not believing in the first place. You'd lose some kind of reward. You know, the Apostle Paul talks about that. There in the house there are vessels of honor and dishonor. 
and we should be a vessel of honor. And that's what the Apostle Paul said. It says, those who have not Christ, those who are in Christ shall not die with shame, you know. Something like that anyway. I can't remember exactly, but anyway. Shall not perish in shame. Uh, it says, if I remember right, those in Christ shall not shall not be ashamed. So that's what happens. Those who who die without Christ are shamed. They're condemned to what they are. But those who are in Christ. They're not going to be ashamed. And that's what I believe hell is, is actually where you're tormented, a condition where you're tormented by your own sins. You know, in this world, your sins are absorbed by, by goodness of God. It's actually absorbed, but there comes a condition where your sins are not absorbed. If without Christ are not absorbed, then you feel the pain of of your sin, and that's what Christ said. He came to deliver us from our sins. But yeah, I, I there are some the Mormons believe that that hell does not last forever, and I don't either. I believe after um, after the church defeats Satan then they lose the right to reject righteousness and then they'll be transformed into righteousness but like I said we need more confirmation on that so I have for right now I just have to go with what the I don't want to chance it you know so I have to go with what the King James Version of the Holy Bible says and the truth revealed to me through the Holy Ghost and that's what I have to believe as with all my, as with all of this, uh, quick one, when I'm writing in the 